Hello folks and welcome back to Death Stranding. Got a weird icon off the distance. Okay, we can redeploy some cargo if we need to. Hopefully we don't need to. We did get kind of beat up last time. But that's the way it goes when you don't uh, don't take these guys seriously. Now that we know to in fact take these guys seriously. Uh, we can get it back. We just didn't have a bolo equipped because I thought for some reason the mules were taken care of. But that's not always going to be the case. Okay, the mules definitely know we're here now. Which is good. It's what I want. Come on, mules. Go ahead and show me up here. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Full stop. I have my bull uh, on board, so let's go ahead and take that bad boy out. Open the cargo mini. Let's go ahead and shove some stuff in here. Yeah, I don't need the floating carrier in my back. Special alloys. Um, probably the sticky gun. And one of the hermetic grenades. Go ahead and go inside the truck right now. Thank you. All right, here we go. It's a lot of stuff, which we should be able to take with us, I would hope. And they should know I'm here. They should have gotten the pulse. I don't know why they're not coming for me here. Might have to go start some trouble. I mean, it's all kind of trouble anyway. Alright, answer the truck. And we don't want to drive anybody over. We definitely did not want to start a void out, if at all possible. But... You guys should know I'm here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now they know. Now they know. Okay, it's gonna short the truck a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not in it anyway. One down. I know there's a guy over there. I don't want to worry about him yet. There's two guys just passed it. Here we go. That's a headshot. He's just out. Don't know if that was a headshot or not. Might not have been. That was, though. I don't know. These guys were all taking up a headshot. Okay, we're good. Okay, you think they would get... Oh, I just got shocked there a little bit. We're okay, though. There we go. You're out. Break his line of sight so he can't line up a shot. That's a headshot, I'm pretty sure. That was not, though. There we go. You're out. I did not mean to pick that up. Uh, what? I could just beat this guy up, I guess. Okay, you're out. There we go. That was a headshot. Maybe? Yeah, it totally was. Go ahead and pick up that handgun. Thank you. You're grunting over here, which is never a good sign. Okay, this guy would need to kick. Go. Here's another one. Where are you? You, right there. Okay, grab the prototype. We still got people here. Okay, there we go. There's a guy running to me right now. Okay, you might just stand up. My mistake. Go ahead and knock you. I think you're already knocked, but just on the safe side. There we go. Got more bad guys. They're just knocking stuff over. This driver doesn't know exactly what to do. 
I like I got up. Damn it. I'm not I'm not double tapping here. You always gotta double tap. That's a headshot though, like he should be out. Okay, truck driver, you actually wanna leave your truck though, cause I mean I guess I could hijack you. Never actually done that before. But I could try it. I don't think he wants me to try it. And he's just all kind of lost. Only got nine more shots here, but that... Assuming this is the last one. I don't know what I just grabbed. I'm assuming it's materials. There we go. No, see, he got out, and then he got back in. What the hell are you even doing, my dude? I don't think you know. I think that's a problem. There we go. And then last one here. Don't fall over. Oh, don't use the vehicle. I wanted to... You know what? Actually, backing up's not a bad idea. Back up so we can... Okay, there we go. That, that works. Let's make sure we can take this guy. There. Okay, put that bola again away, and now people can be able to traverse the area. Great. Don't lose your weight. Yeah, don't lose your balance there. Okay, my truck is way over that way. I say way over. It's not actually that far. Gonna grab the special alloy here. Anything else here we need? Needs probably a strong word. Almost there. And there could be more prototypes in here. We can actually get to test out the sticky gun. Yeah, just dump everything we can. Oh, there we go. See more sticky gun prototypes. Yeah, stick everything we can into this truck. So actually it might just be the one on the floor and that's it, right? One, two, three, five, and six. Yeah, we're just missing number four, which is definitely on the ground. Okay, no, that's fine. Let me shove that in the truck. Firm. Okay, grab you. I guess we can also grab the special alloys, because why the hell not? Go ahead and make sure BB's happy. I think that would work, but it didn't. Eh, I go and like it. What the hell? I haven't actually liked something in a while. There we go. Okay, one like from a local parter, which is great. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and drive this truck over to the uh, over to the post box. If the mules were here. That means the post box probably got refreshed. It might have something cool in it, though. Just remember where the post box is. So, alloys over there. Post box is over here, right? Yeah, here it is. Oh, don't fall over. Don't fall over. There you go. No, no, we're good. We're good. I'm stretching my legs. Okay, so we grab some things. Get some metals here. What do we got in here? Another bullet gun. That's not a bad idea. I'll go ahead and take that. Uh, some lost cargo. I'll grab all those. Uh, let's go ahead and put that... Oh, I can't put it in the truck for some reason? The truck's, like, right there. Why can't... Oh, my God. It's so weird. All right, carry my back for right now. Freaking weirdo. Um, and of course, it's got a ton of materials. That's a lot of special alloys. Much as I would love to carry all that, that's probably not going to happen. Though, I don't know. I mean, the truck might be able to carry a ton of stuff. I have no idea. Actually, don't know how much it's carrying now. 
See if I can get a proper measurement here. So 15 times five, right? Okay, so that's 45, 60, 75. That's another five there, so that's 80. 90. 91 plus four, so that's 95 again. And then three twelves, which would be 36. So 95 plus 36 is about 126, roughly. And of course, there's whatever on my back also. We can actually do that. Be another 15, so 136. Trouble is it how much room this actually takes up. That's the real trick. We can load that all in the truck. It didn't even blink. So maybe we're good. Maybe we're actually totally fine. I'm just wondering if we can actually do the film director's job here. The trouble is I have no idea what the maximum weight limit is. And if I go inside, does it tell me? Because sometimes it'll tell you when you look at your cargo how much you can actually carry. It'll tell you that when I'm working, when I'm walking. Yeah, it's still just a walking amount. 55 kilograms walking, which is fair, but not currently helpful. Okay, deliver at least one container of sticky guns to Lake Knot City. I can easily do that. Um, there's some ceramics and other stuff we can also carry to Lake Knot City and the special alloys and whatnot, but only we really care. Container repair spray doesn't matter either. Okay, so should we assume that because these mules were back, that all the mules are back? Might not be an unreasonable assumption. Alright, we're gonna go the... What is the safest route? I was gonna say the northern route would be safest, but maybe actually southern? How's the weather? Okay, a lot of rain through there. That is a little worrying. We'll probably get some BT activity if I go through there. But, if I go down to the film director, not so much. Then we only get the tail end of the storm there. Up here looks like almost no rain whatsoever, like not even along the river. All I need to do is get to this road, probably starting like there. And I can just drive the rest of the way to Lake Knot City. Well, and the safest way to go then is the distribution center. Because that'll get me pretty close to the road. With no rain whatsoever on the route. Yeah. Yeah, that's the safest option. Okay. Let's go to distribution center. If I can make it from there to, like, there, we are golden. We just drive the rest of the way. And probably a trip that's long overdue, really. They just follow the roads, assuming these people know where they're going. Might be a big assumption, but I'll take it. The... Acceleration ramps I do want to try out, but probably not in a truck. Don't think that would really work out for us. I think that would probably actually just destroy everything. Which would be hilarious, I suppose, but maybe not a good idea. I guess there's this acceleration one, but I don't do that one right now either. I think they're really meant for trikes. They're probably not meant for trucks. Okay, so here, we don't really care about this road. Go ahead and charge here. Actually, this char this truck has a much better charge than the mule. The mule is like half this much power. It's already we're in better shape. Okay, nice easy drive. Oh, the trike's in right in the wrong way. Um... That is a red area, which does worry me a bit. So instead, I'm going to go this way. Because at least it's not red. It will take me through a little bit of water town, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and get the charge up here. So we got a mail. Got to pay attention to these things more often. Got a mail a little while ago. Yeah, more lost cargo for me. Make your way to the Craftsman Shelter, then head west-northwest. Come across a ruined factory near the side of the highway. 
Craftsman shelter than west northwest. Craftsman's up here, right? Yeah, there he is. Then west northwest would be up here. Well, it depends how far, right? It could be up this way. It could be like that, for all I know. How's the. Ooh, that's a lot of rain up there. Let's deal with this first. We probably gotta make our way back anyway. Let's just keep going for the road. Don't worry about the craftsman on the way back. But we got a lot of material here, and I don't wanna waste it. Do I even need this shear? Uh, that's a good question. Am I going the right way? I am not going the right way. Nope. Turn around. Not need to make that drive. Go this way instead. Yeah, along that path right over there. Just don't tip. Don't tip. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I have to sometimes convince myself that we're good, even though sometimes it appears we are not good. But we were totally good there. Just, you know, didn't initially look like it. Uh, can't climb this, right? Maybe. Gonna be a little tight. The, the truck can jump. Turns out. Oh, there's another road there. So this is probably where, you know, providing all the metals and ceramics and everything for the road makes this a ton easier. Oh, that is a lot of materials it needs, though, so we're not ready to deliver that, unfortunately. I'd like to, but it's not going to happen. This looks like the only route to go here, right? So if I go this way... I don't care about the custom Havana grenade. just want the charge to make sure we're good. But the road starts right there. So we should be getting pretty close here. What I probably should have done. That's close. Just stop. Okay, there we go. Mm, that's weird. Cause I could just want to put that stuff in the truck, but I guess not. Okay, so here's the road. This is what I want. Um, I totally forgot what I was going to say. We just need the road. But I, there we go. What I was going to say is I should probably have grabbed the materials from the distribution center, which is full up anyway. And then made it so that we could build the roads here. But it's okay. It's, it's all right. Okay. Lost some cargo, but that's okay. So some of this stuff is just going to have to get picked up another time. Made some very weird noises here, but I'm assuming it's good. The road here, though, is being very, very nice to us. It'll be very sad to see this go, though I'm expecting that a lot of people will have at least contributed to this road. So hopefully it's going to be resistant to timefall for a good long time. Might not be true for any other road along our route, but the road to Lake Knot City should remain intact for a good long while, I hope. don't know exactly what we're passing that's making all that noise, but whatever. We're going through mule territory, but I think we already left. Uh, what can't you do? Yeah, I think we're good. Got a little bit more of a journey to make here, but barely using any power. I don't know. If there's any mules here, I'm sure they'll tell us. But the road here being intact means the mules don't stand a chance. There's no way they connect to us. There's no way they managed to get to us in time. Even if they managed to detect us. Here we go. Now we're in mule territory. But again, it's not going to matter. Yeah, come and get me. If you dare. If you freaking dare. The thing is, their detection will tell them that I'm up on the road. But, like, if they don't know how to get up here, they're not going to get up here. So it's all over. We're good. The music can get as intense as it likes. It does not matter. Okay, they did, that was a good shot. That was trying to be predictive, at least. You got to give them credit for that. 
Not much more than credit for that, but a little bit of credit. And running me territory. That was fast. If only we could go that fast through BT territory, but I suppose that'd be a little crazy. Strange light at the incinerator. Oh, that can't be good. That can't be good. I'm going to safely ignore that, though, but I think we eventually need to look at that. Why are ceramics just right here? Uh, let me let me go ahead and get out of the vehicle and pick that up. That seems super strange. Why would there be ceramics right here? Okay, let me just go ahead and take that, and then we'll uh, see if we can maybe hand that off in like a, I don't know, a private cargo bin or something. Okay, but the vehicle's in great shape. We've got a whole bunch of cargo for this area. We finally made it here, by the way. I think we've been waiting to do this for like, I don't know, 10 episodes or something? It's been a while. Vehicles that are taking damage will be repaired. Great. Not that our current vehicle needs repair, but I appreciate it. The people down in South Knot City have had to suffer through a lot of terrorist attacks lately. They've not been receiving supplies regularly either. Now, no one's starving. Not yet, but a sense of unease is spreading across the city. We need you to bring them as much as you can of whatever you can. Food, oxytocin, the essentials. You'll also be carrying seeds, earthworm and insect protein paste, organic chemicals, and anti-BT weapons laced with your blood. None of which can be sent via a Cairo printer. A delivery will remind the citizens they're connected to the rest of the country. It will give them hope. And if you can get them connected to the Cairo network, all the better. Something's been nagging at me, though. Fragile checked in a little while ago, saying that due to some instability with the beach, she was having trouble making jumps. Until things settle down, she won't be able to help you out. Fragile's at the distro center south of Lake Knot if you want to hear the rest of the story. I marked a location on your map. Be sure to take a look. By the way, Chiral density appears to be increasing across the board. We're currently looking into what kind of impact this might have on Cupid functionality. What about causes? No need for you to worry about all that, though. Just keep on doing what you do best, huh? No, 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 no. But the whole reason why you're seeing increased chiral activity is because we've been connecting people to the chiral network. How does that not occur to you? You freaking weirdos. you've recovered or something the techs have been calling sticky guns. Anyway, none of this is on you. We should have kept a closer eye on them in the first place. Yep. Let's check the cargo. Great. Most of them are accounted for. Thanks to you, we've kept the damage to a minimum. Didn't I grab all of them? Two, three, four, five... Six. Yeah, that, that's all. That, that's all of them. It's not most of them. That's all of them. Weirdo. Okay, well now we can just make fabricate ones, so that's great. And of course we want them. We haven't actually tried it out yet. Oh, we've only got four connection level for Lake Knot City? Well, maybe we should try to get that to five. It's a thought. Uh, bots still available. That's great. Let's, uh... Okay, B, that's not bad. That's not bad. Good work. New order available. Okay, do I have a bunch of stuff here to recycle? Oh, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and burn the sticky gun. As well as the PCC, the carrier. Bunch of this stuff. This metals, too. I'll need the bullet gun. Burn the ceramics. Burn the old bullet gun. That should be good. Probably gonna be over a little bit, but it's what can you do? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, 
so basically just just increase special alloys. Everything else couldn't increase because we haven't actually made the connection strong enough here. Uh, suppose we could deliver. So we can deliver here. Okay, that goes to the engineer. That goes to the elder. And I do need to go to the craftsman, so that's probably what I need to do. Now the two big orders of the craftsman, I could probably do that, especially with the truck. Oh, there's an idea. Yeah, send the coral ornaments over there. The film director I carry less I care less about. Let's send that be a robot. That I think work really. It's just with fragile shipments, it's hard to tell us. Thank you go. for your contribution. It might be fine. Let's rest up a little bit before we take on the next order. And then pass out, Sam. You deserve it. Just don't have a horrible nightmare. That's all I ask. Okay, it repl resupplies your ammo, too. So we can keep the bola gun. Okay, that's good to know. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Sam. Don't know if you're aware, but you can customize your pack in your private room. Why not give it a try? Because the sound just got really weird, but okay. Customize your backpack. So, fabricate attachments. Ooh, grenade pouch. Grip space in your back, learning to carry more cargo. Also protect the content from time fall and impact. Sounds great. Let's definitely make a grenade patch for damn sure. Uh, we can actually move it in different places. That's weird. Also kind of cool. We can also rotate it. Oh, no, not really. Okay, well, sure, why not? Grenade patch up here. Actually, can we just make a ton of grenade patches? There's a patch here. I was aware to express your individuality. Okay, so there's a bunch of different kind of patches. Extra battery. Um, uh, most extra batteries can be repaired at once. Oh, wow, that thing's huge. That thing's enormous. But I suppose if you want it to be actually useful, it does kind of make sense. Uh, sure. Give me that extra battery. Can I get another grenade pouch? I can. Right there. Thank you. Can I get another grenade pouch? I can. Thank you. Right there is good. Can I get another grenade pouch? I can. There you go. Can I get another grenade pouch, please? I don't care about the patches, I just want all the grenade abilities. Being able to carry more grenades around would be fan freaking tastic. I think that's all we can do. Can we get another grenade pouch? Sadly, no. Well, we're gonna run out sooner or later. Okay, what about accessories? Windmill? BBs are particularly fond of this accessory. It seems to improve their mood and help prevent them from becoming stressed. Oh no, that's not a windmill, that's a pinwheel. Pinwheel's totally different, my dude. Okay, whatever. Go ahead and make the little accessory thing. That's fine. Uh, yeah. This is great. Tons of grenade pouches. Extra battery just in case. I think this is fine. Yeah, we gotta burn a couple of things here, but that's okay. Create the attachment. Okay. Go ahead and say hello to BB. So, of course, this isn't a horrible, horrible nightmare. You're not about to lose your mind. Hey, BB. How you doing? You okay? Apparently, BB is napping. Okay, but he's happy. That's cool. All right. We got our backpack all customized, which is great. Um, don't really need to do that right now. We don't need to do that right now. Our email, I think, is... Oh, we can look at our email, I guess. 
Sam shook his head. We should probably do it anyway. Right. More lost cargo for us. That's north of the Craftsman Shelter. That's why we need to go over that way. More we'll around the racetrack of your dreams. Dream racetrack. There are plans to build one near the time full of farmer's place back in the day. Because the founder of Fragile Express had the idea in the first place. Okay. He wanted to race. Just don't anything necessary for Charles like wood in the structure and your racetrack dreams will come true. That's weird. But I suppose we could do it. I mean, it might increase morale. I don't know if that's a thing we need to actually worry about, but we could do it. Here's a prototype. You're welcome. Countries are bullshit. Okay. I mean, you're not horribly wrong. Please look out for them, right? You guys are getting married? Yes, that's definitely true. Back in the theaters. They didn't back get married. Okay. Right, the uh, the gravity gloves. You can collect and carry a whole load of cargo. Just bear in mind it's battery operated. That's okay, we have a spare battery now. Okay, so strange light through incinerator can't be good. They found a body near the way station and needed to be burned. We don't exactly have a team of cork disposal guys and guys. Stupid job. I don't have dooms or anything, but you don't need special powers to know when BT's caught your scent. I can tell they weren't far behind. Just want to get the job done, come home, but then one of the fuckers popped out of nowhere and here to give me a heart attack. Somehow, I'm making an incinerator without getting grabbed. That's when things got really weird. All this glowing thing. This light, I guess? I want to take a closer look, but I wasn't about to take any chances. Oh, crap. So we have to go back to the incinerator at some point. Okay. Alright, we could probably do that. Um, right. Be sure to use your outer hood, which I have been doing. Thank you. Even Cairo boots that are fantastic. Thank you very much. I have not tried out the hologram generator, but that is totally a thing. The prepper out there has a special account because of a cosplayer. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. I did that one. That's fine. Hmm. Interesting, it says you can use them to carry an extra blood bag, but I've only seen grenade bags. But I suppose that's actually. Okay, he does actually want us to grab the junk near his his materials. That's good. Alright. Get back some time fall porter. Your outer hood. And I think that's it, right? Okay, so this one here. Make it where the craftsman shelter, then head west northwest. Okay. The ruin factory. So we need to go grab an order. So let's go out in the world. Take it to South Knot City, which okay, that's the that's probably the square we're missing there, South Knot City. And ships stolen by mules. That might be easier to grab. Only two kilograms. It's a nice quick mission, in, out, and gone. We have to deal with some mules, but that's no big deal. We have Ebola. Yeah, let's do this one really quick. This will also improve the connection for uh, like not city, so that's probably a good idea to do anyway. Don't need the sticky gun. And I've already got a bullet gun, right? Yeah, I've got a bullet gun and anti-BT gun. Okay. I think we're good. I can leave the truck where it is, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'll probably just shove it in the garage. Um, yeah, I want to go and shove that thing in the garage. I don't need it right now. We'll come back for it. Oh, that's going to shove all the stuff in here. Right, junk dealer. That's just be center south. It's a weather station. I'd love to recycle this stuff, but I don't think I can right now. I definitely don't want to take it with me. Here's a grenade. Go ahead and place that in the grenade pouch. Thank you. Um, blood bag. Can we put that in a grenade? No, we placed in the utility pouch, though. There we go. And the other bag also in the utility pouch. There we go. Much better when it's not hanging on your freaking body all the time. 
Okay, so cargo shell. I got nothing in my cargo shell. And that's it for my private locker as well. Okay, that's fine. We'll need to take this in the car on our way to the craftsman and whoever else as we jump, drop all this other stuff off. But that's okay. So when I go get V's chip and head out in the world. Order a song. I do the bullet gun, right? Yeah, okay, I do. There we go. Okay, nice, easy trip into mule territory, grab V's ship, head out. Should be very straightforward. Should be no problems whatsoever. It is kind of funny we can't seem to take these trucks, but we can only take them from the garage. Let me actually look at them now. I don't know, they might purely be decorational. But it could be now that I can build them. Nope, they're locked. They've got locked holograms on their wheels, so so much for that idea. Okay, so only if they're actually built can we use them. I suppose that's fair. Good morning, Sam. Have a pleasant journey. Okay, so where's this thing at? Now that we're past the horse field. Okay, drop the roots. There we go. Okay, so once we get past the... Yeah, once we get past the auto paver, it should just be a straight shot down. So I'll just mark it just so we know. But this should be dead simple. We got the bullet gun. It's got full ammo. We go in. The mules all run for us. We bullet them up. And we grab the chip and we come back. Now, of course, what's going to be really tempting is to grab whatever cargo the mules have on them. And we can do that up to a point. But only up to a point. Okay, so my mark says go that way. Okay. That's a lot of cargo right here. So goes to the artist studio. I don't care about the climbing anchor, but this stuff over here might be useful. I want to shove this into the truck for sure. We're going to be going all over the place. I just kind of wish we could get the bots to deliver lost cargo. There we go. Like, that would be ideal. Like, relying other porters to do it seems problematic. But having the bots do it seems like that should be exactly what they're for. Okay, there's mule territory there. Let's pick up some stuff here. What the hell? Okay, mules, where are you? At least the, the mission objective is really easy to spot. Here we go. Come and freaking get me. Where are you at? There we got one guy over there. Who was only briefly there. There we go, he's coming over the hill. Alright, let's get the bullet gun prepped. That's the anti-BT handgun. Where's my... There we go, there's my bullet gun. Almost missed it there. The purple is actually a little hard to see sometimes against certain backgrounds. Okay, here we go. And one dude shouldn't be that bad, but it's not just the one. It's never just one. Oh, what the... Okay, good shot, good shot. Got you, though. Okay, he's out. There we go. And your turn. Okay, you're out, at least. Okay, we don't see any hooded guys, so nobody with a shield or anything. You're kicked. I don't really care about the climbing anchor, but we might be able to uh, recycle it at least. Oh, you tripped. That's very bad for you. Also, I don't care. Let's see, the meal boots I don't care about. The dude over here, probably inside the camp. Probably give me a pulse. It's a lot of potential. Oh, yep, there we go. There's like. Two guys over that way. One guy behind me, apparently. 
Is he throwing the light I just saw? There he is. Looking at his friends like, oh no, what happened to you guys? Nothing good, my dude. Nothing good. There we go. Okay, so two guys over there for sure. Another pulse. I do like that we can tell there's people there now. It does make it a lot easier. Okay, now they see me. Alright, come over here, boys and girls. Let's go. That's a headshot. So you're just out. That is not a headshot. I would love it to be, but it's not. And that is not either. Sorry, I meant to kick you there. There you go. Got the metal there. Kick you. Actually, take everybody out. Yeah, there we go. Porters will be able to traverse this area, which means we're safe. How many bulls we have left? 15. Okay, that's a good amount. Not too bad. This is probably where V's chip is. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Yep, there we go. V's engraved chip. All right, go ahead and take that for sure. Oh, what else we got in here? I mean, I'm tempted to take everything. If I take the metals and ceramics, we might be able to build the road out, is the thing. The thing is, it's going to be hella heavy. It's going to be extremely heavy. What about the lost cargo? That goes... Oh, that goes back to the Lake Knot City. That's a good one to take. We should take that for sure. Also, rearrange that a little bit. I don't know what happened there, but there you go. That's much better. Um... Hmm, the bullet gun I don't really care about. Metals, though, that's a huge amount. Well, if we take that, we might be able to take everything. It's risky, it's also very heavy, but that just means it's going to be slow. I can deal with slow. I say we put these all on our back. Load it up. And then auto range a little bit. Worked a little bit, but yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be slow, but it's okay. We don't need to carry anything else. This is fine. Okay, just grab on. Oh wow. Okay, maybe I'm going a little bit too slow. Yeah, see, I warned you this is gonna happen. I'm gonna get greedy, I said. I should not get greedy, I said. You know what happened? I got greedy. Holy crap. Okay, so there's a certain amount where this is almost just untenable. Okay, so... Hmm. You know what? I'm stubborn. I'm super stubborn. I'm gonna do this. But you guys don't need to be here for it. I can't carry anything else, of course. Like, it'd be crazy to do anything else. This is gonna be, like, painstaking. But I'm gonna do this anyway. I'm totally taking this home. We're going to put this inside the truck. It's going to be great. Unfortunately, it is going to take me a long while to get there. But, you know, that's just how... Oh, I can carry more stuff on my back. That seems unlikely, that right now. Am I at my weight limit or am I past it? I am past it by 10 whole kilograms. That doesn't sound like a lot. Actually, I could probably drop 10 kilograms. Yeah, that 100 metals right there, I could drop that. Or... I don't want to drop any of the lost cargo. I could drop the climbing anchor. I don't need that. Let me offload that. That's another... So I'm only six kilograms over. That's not too bad. Um, That thing's really six kilograms, though. Drop the grenades. I guess I don't need the smoke grenades. Let's drop the smoke grenades. Then I'm only 3.5 kilograms over. Uh, we could drop the bola gun. I kind of hate to do it because we could recycle it, but we don't need to recycle necessarily. Hmm. Only 3.5 kilograms over. I can walk this. Dropping what we did is fine. How's that going? Oh, don't pick him up, you crazy person. Let go. Let go. Let go. There you go. Uh, we're still gonna we're still gonna be stomping our way. Okay. Well, 
I was hoping for... No, don't do that. Don't do that. I was hoping we'd uh, be able to make it reasonable here. Only three kilograms over, but I suppose every little bit does, in fact, count. Okay, well, I'm going to make the nice slow rock walk back to Lake Knot City. Where we're going to go ahead and dump most of the stuff in the truck. Not to mention deliver a V's chip. But for right now, thank you for watching. This has been Death Stranding. I'm PC Universe here, PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.